Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. United Community Bank, an independent, family-owned and operated bank committed to empowering customers to achieve their financial goals. Member FDIC. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today at the Frazee Municipal Liquor Store with Jeannie Brandt. And Jeannie, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you, Hank? Well, I'm trying to stay warm in this great weather. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty excited that we're going to be above zero here soon. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we do live in Minnesota. <laughs> yes, above zero is like spring here. So <laughs> so what's happening at the uh, municipal? Well, we've got a couple of big things going on. Um, we're going to honor the dance line and the wrestlers. Um, February 16th and 17th, our dance line is going to state. Um, congratulations, girls. February 16th, um, we are going to have it up on our big screen. Doing this... Now, you're going to have it on the big screen, so you're going to be able to actually watch in time the the dancers compete at state. Yes, and then we'll also be able to pop up their awards. Um, Friday the 16th is jazz. Um, 1130 is preliminaries, and 530 is finals. And then on... Saturday the 17th is High Kick, and their preliminaries is at 11.30, and their finals is also at 5.30. Um, after the jazz on the 16th, we do have karaoke going on. Um, so come on down and, you know, sing your hearts out and celebrate, hopefully, the girls winning a championship. Also, what we're going to be offering during those two days is a dance line special, which is $10 or 10% off your whole order. Uh, well, that's, that's a pretty good deal there. You know, and this is going to be the first time we've ever done things like that. You know, I mean, before we've sat here and listened to the radio. Well, exactly. And the wrestlers, hopefully, you know, team goes to state and we always have, always have some individuals that go as you know, to state as individuals. And that's going to be March 2nd, 3rd, 2nd, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, excuse me. And we're also going to do a wrestling special at that time, which is going to be 10% off your whole order. Well, I, I think this is going to be a great deal. I think it'll bring some people in here. And you can see what your kids are doing down at state right here and enjoy your favorite adult beverage or what have you and eat and watch the kids compete at state level. You know? I, you know, it is really neat to watch it actually on TV because since my children have graduated and haven't gone to the wrestling tournament, that's how we watch it. And it's actually pretty neat because, you know, it's, it's almost sometimes better than that frontline view that you can have in, you know, and it's a whole lot cheaper. Just <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I think it's just tremendous that we can do something like this, you know, for the uh, families and, and the kids around here. You know, it's, it's always great to see how many actually go to state. We, we have a phenomenal amount that seem to keep making it down every year. Oh, yes. Um, you know, I can't say enough about our sports up at the high school and stuff. You know, that I, like I said, my hat's off to them. Also, on the... Um, Saturday, February, Saturday, the 17th, wrestling will be at sections at that time. And we will know by the end of that night if we are going to state as a team. So, you know, good luck to everybody, and hopefully, you know, we bring home some medals. Well, yeah. The, and the great thing is, you know, to get out there and enjoy what your children are doing. If you can't make it down there, come on down to the municipal and, and watch them on the big screen down here. You know, it's, it'll be a great time, and you can cheer for them here and text them and let them know what you're doing. Well, I appreciate you being on the program, Jeannie. Thanks, Hank. And so we'll look for you on the 16th and 17th for the dance line, and we'll look for you first, second, and third with wrestling when we go to state. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. The City of Frazee and Frazee Events Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage and a full service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. 
Crazy Community Club. People and business coming together to make the community fun, friendly, and thriving. Become a member and help support your community. Crazy Vergas Forum. Locally owned and operated. Bringing you news for the Lakes area in print or online. Subscribe today. Crazyforum.com. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with the Frazee High School Trap Team coach, Tim Robley. Hey. Thanks, Hank. Nice to meet you. Well, you know, this has been quite an issue, you know, over the years. You know, I, I, I like your uh, sweatshirt. Yeah. Do you like I, my t-shirt? I, I do. I, li I like that. It's really good, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, how many years now has the trap team been functioning? You know, we're going to be in our fifth year this year. And uh, how many how many kids have? What's the largest number you've had a, in a year? Uh, I, I believe it was 24. Was the biggest year we started out. The first year we had nine. Well, wow, you've been coming along pretty good. And this year, you said you have how many on? Well, registration is just opening now. Uh, last week, and uh, they're registering. But um, we already have 20 kids, and I'm sure we'll be getting the new ones coming on now as well. Well, you know, this is a great thing, you know, and you've got a fundraiser coming up here on the 24th of February? Yeah, we do. We're calling it a wing fling. Uh, we got Buffalo Wild Wings coming to Frazee, and they're going to be uh, putting on the wings and all the fixings. We're going to have games and raffles and stuff down at the Frazee Event Center. It's going to be a real fun night. So what time does that start, sir? The door's going to open at 5.30, and uh, the food will start, and then games and raffles to follow, so... Oh. And, and so you got, how many tickets are you selling for the dinner? Well, uh, we printed 300 tickets and they're going fast. So, uh, um, yep, we need to know uh, by the end of this week uh, for the account uh, for, for food preparation and stuff like that. So, but uh, it's looking to be an exciting event. How, how much are the tickets, Tim? Uh, they're $20 for adult tickets and then $15 for anybody under 16 years old. And uh, so how, how long does this run? How many hours is this? A two, three hour? Yeah, you know, we're going to probably start at 5.30, and we should have it wrapped up about 9, 9.30 at night. So, yep. Well, that's a good deal. You know, I mean, this has really been quite a thing for the kids here at Frazee, you know, to uh, start incorporating. You know, we've always done uh, firearm safety training around here, but the idea that we all actually continue to train our kids on how actually to handle and use the guns for sport. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the gun safety training is very important, and, and everybody has to have that to be on the team. But then we take it to the next level, and you, you actually have the chance to interact with uh, people that with other guns and things of that nature. Working on the trap line and working on the disciplines of trap shooting um, has, is really rewarding for the kids, and it takes it to that next level, gives them a more comfort uh, zone with, uh, with handling weapon. Well, and, and I know myself from being, you know, a trap shooter back in the 70s that you know, this all when we we'd go trap shooting here at Detroit Lakes at this at the DL Sportsman's uh, uh, shooting range out there, that really helped me as far as upland game hunting. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime that you can have targets and, and shooting at targets and, and moving targets, it uh, it really helps the skill level uh, rise up. Many of the kids that have been on the key team have come back and even told me that that after duck season and pheasant season stuff like that, that they they're shooting more fast food, uh, hitting more fast ducks. So that's good. <laughs> You know, I used to shoot with an old uh, Model 12 uh, nickel steel that was uh, three inch. That was uh, had a 32 inch barrel on it. Wow, that uh, and your shoulder still is around. That's good. Yeah, that's a that's a good gun. So yeah, it came with a set of wheels to take, drag it around with. <laughs> yeah, guns have changed a little bit in, the, in today's days, but uh, yeah, that's good. So remember, you know, we're sitting here looking at the 24th of February. You know. And so when you see any of the trap team members around, they'll be selling the tickets. Now, do you have any of the tickets at any of the businesses? Yeah, OK Lumber right here in Frazee uh, has some tickets at the counter there. Um, otherwise, the, all the kids on the trap team have them. Um, you can contact uh, look at social media. They've got it on Facebook, stuff like that. Um, but the tickets are going fast, and uh, um, it's, they're going to be hard to get. Well, yeah, 300 tickets. That's not a lot of tickets. <laughs> no, no, but uh, we wanted to be somewhere uh, in a good crowd. Didn't want to have it too crowded and stuff. So uh, really looking forward to having a great night, though. Well, I think it's tremendous. I, I, I'm a firm believer in rifle training and, 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 and trap shooting. It, it helps uh, continue the sport and handling and eye hand coordination for these kids and make some tremendous hunters in the field down the road so i really appreciate you being on the program tim well thanks a lot for having me and uh we'll have a good year yeah. so remember february 24th
at 5.30. Frazee Event Center. Come and get your wings. Support the Frazee High School Trap Team. And with that, we'll be back next week for another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. So pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, and wave at the neighbors. The next person you wave at, wave at could be your next best friend.